obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out of the all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining the peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than you. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of a warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So would I. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Jotunheim. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? No, no. What's yeah. it gonna be this time? You had anything for me? Yeah, nope, sure didn't. Something else we can do for you? Nah, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, I could say the same to you. Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. Can you forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, Brock, Sindri, the Renan and Walter used to praise fists, so uh, keep that in mind. Here we go. I can't believe we're going to see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan, <coughs> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim, and we'll be on our way. Probably. <laughs> Vanaheim. That was not Jotunheim. Um. Right, well, after this short detour to Nifelheim, we will head to Jotunheim. I don't know why I expected that to be like the full option. Don't know why I hit uh, travel. This goes to show I really need like half the attention of what the game's telling you. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Yeah, be fine, oh, that's unpleasant. Now 
cowboy. We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. Finally here. Jotunheim. A word, please, before we continue. Word. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing the heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. He's getting all sentimental. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Sentry. Okay. Ready. Come. came into existence there on the right, but uh the light it burns. And blinds. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We sure did, boy. We did. Nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. I suppose, boy. Boy. Confirmed it. As long as you don't like immediately drop her or something and ruin the moment. Carry her. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. It is oddly quiet. Well, I can't really say that any of their have been that largely populated. Oh, now fine. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. 
Yes, they do. Should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why did Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Is caving in. Get out of there, Atreus. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? It's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. Hmm. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Mm. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. I feel like Atreus should see that so you can translate it. Atreus is probably going to keep that a secret from him. It's mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Come on, boy. A few more steps. Uh. 
we clear a lot of dead giants. No. We do it together. Son. You call him son. I guess if that mural does show Kratos dying, it wouldn't be the first time. I mean, he gets killed in God of War 1, God of War 2, God of War 3. So, yeah. Death can't keep a hold on him. Goodbye, Fred. I love you, Mom. Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My What's name that? on the wall. Giants called me Loki. Loki. Hmm. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? Why indeed? A question for another day. Let us go home. Makes sense though. Why she wanna end up here? Be with her god? But did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So the question is though, Trace. I trust you to decide that. Oh. <clears throat> so why do you wanna name me a Trace? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> No, he was a soldier, a Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. Amir missed it. Well, we can always retell the story from Amir. I really like this style of doing the credits, like putting it over gameplay here. If you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. 
I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. I'm glad we went with it too, Atreus. reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Amir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? I guess you're coming home with us then. <laughs> Fort with Atreus. Continue exploring. Complete dwarven favors. Free dragons. Travel to Muswellheim and Niflheim. Find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment that will allow you to defeat it. All the legendary corrupted Valkyries. Valkyries revealed. Locations of all the corrupted Valkyries have been revealed on your map. As well as trolls. Definitely. Cool. And it looks like other side quests too. more snow and then the end of the bloody world in that approximate order another prophecy no brother prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least you've changed something prophecy didn't count on you hmm that's concerning because so, Ragnarok is the thing that Odin fears the most and I don't think he's going to take that laying down that um, Ragnarok's here now I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason. Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my throat. Y yeah. We... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or, if you're not heading home, same advice. Well, I take that advice, but for now, let's head home. I think we have to fast travel to get there. We had to fast travel to come back. The lake's slower, significantly. From, you know, going and getting her moving and all that. And I think the only path back to the house was through Freya's, and I don't think she's gonna let us in. But she's probably not too happy about the whole dead son thing. But, you know. Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes. That's a terrible pity. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Mm. 
we're all finally about home. control. Feels like a lifetime ago. A bit drafty, maybe. But it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Yeah. Trish, you're not gonna believe the things I did here. Like I was doing stuff like this. It was crazy. I wish you were there. I feel like you don't believe me, boy, but that's all right. You got a long, low orange nap. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Like we're gonna move the mirror, right? We're not just gonna like roll over on him. No, we are. Certain mirror. Years later. The ball. The trace looks exactly the same. Big 